yeah, yeah. like that one. Yeah. It looks like something they picked up by the sea. Yeah, and it's it fits in with this. Yeah. yeah, we like that. Yeah. I think it just, it's just nice, simple. It is. Do you want to put that in there? Yeah. yeah. This is actually somebody's favourite thingy, but yeah. what a lot of love's gone into that. It's mad. It actually works in it the frame, doesn't it? Really in well. a strange way. I think we have to say yes to this. Yeah. It's not working, is it? No. It's onto something. The frame is, is, again, it's killing it. I've been interested in the art from a very early age, and I, I did a BA. That was my training and foundation course. And I've, I've taught ever since uh, I was 22. So I feel like I understand the process through which people make art. The, the difficulty I think a lot of people have is that they think they know what they like, not what is actually um, quality. And I, I think you've got to lose um, your own taste and try and understand the processes people use. And I think through teaching and actually doing it yourself at the same time, you start to understand processes. You get that feeling of the hardness of the board, but then she's actually layering on top of it with mm. thin, probably tissue or something like that, and um, thicknesses of paint. So you get the fragility with the firmness, so the fact it looks like it's a floating mount suggests the fr fragility as well as the strength of the piece. Okay, there's something incredibly seductive about this piece of work. Um, you would guess that it's autobiographical, you guess that there is a story here um, about the life of the person who's made it, um, and obviously the dress. I would imagine is a metaphor for childhood um, and if you look at all the little pieces like the um, bits of flower and the stamps and the bits of map you get this idea that it's some sort of personal journey the other thing is I could be completely wrong about it because um, I don't know anything about the person um, I don't know anything about her work um, and, and in a way that's the wonderful thing about art because you can make anything out of it you can bring your own self and your own um, life history um, and so she's just given us something to inspire a whole way of thinking. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and uh, a very warm welcome to uh, the Shy Hall Gallery for Staffordshire Open Art 2006. This exhibition is an important event in the gallery's calendar as it's providing artists who were born, live, work in Staffordshire the opportunity to showcase their work. It's also giving us the opportunity to celebrate their talent. Jennifer Collier for her mixed media piece, Teabag Dress. Lisa Henderson for her painting, You Were There. And Naomi Greaves for her lino cut and etched glass piece, Black to Grey. Danny Watkins for his photograph, Lost. John Robertson for his charcoal drawing, 168 pounds. Many congratulations to Emily Beanie. Claire Caulfield Carr, congratulations Claire. Harriet Rowley, bravo. It gives so many people such an opportunity to actually show their work and as you say, just to be accepted is brilliant. It, it, it's such a thrill to, to mm. it, it gives you a credibility for your work, doesn't it? it Whereas does. you can plod and plod and plod and never know um, no. if, if your work is good enough. All my work is, is broadly landscape based, it's never to do with the human figure, um, but basically a sort of abstract view of landscape. Um, I'm very interested in um, the use of um, randomness and sort of uh, chance in, in what I do. 
It's kind of the idea of um, belonging as well as doing dresses I make, matching pair of shoes which actually goes with a piece of work. It's the idea of things um, going together and belonging um, and it's the idea of thrifting, collecting things in memory. I don't really know what I'm going to do with the award. I think um, I'm trying to start up my own studio to, pr to produce more work so it will definitely go towards a press or even a couple of presses so that's really helpful. My favourite thing about Open Art is the amount of expression and the variety of subjects that we've uh, seen this evening. There's something for everyone.